सो फाइनली आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम ऑक्टावी ओ एस इज बैक वर्जन इज फोर पॉइंट ओ बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉयड थर्टीन विद द लेटेस्ट जेनोवी सिक्योरिटी पैच दिस इज़ अ फर्स्ट अपडेट बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉयड थर्टीन सो नॉट गॉट टॉक अबाउट सम चेंज लॉग बिकॉज दिस इज अ फर्स्ट इनिशियल वर्जन सो विल टॉक अबाउट द थिंग्स विच आर इंक्लूडेड विद दिस वर्जन एंड वट आर द थिंग्स यू हैव यू हैव अवेलेबल इन ऑक्टावी ओ एस एंड इफ यू हैव एंड इंस्टॉल ऑक्टावी ओ एस येट इवन विद एंड्रॉड इलेवन और ट्वेल्व यू माइट नॉट नो अबाउट दिस वन बट दिस इज एक्चुअली क्वाइट गुड कस्टम रूम लेट्स टेक अ क्विक लुक एट द चेंजेज विच आर लेट्स टेक अ क्विक लुक एट द थिंग्स विच आर इंक्लूडेड विद दिस वर्जन First of all, the default launcher. It is not a Pixel launcher. It's kind of launcher three, which is having all the features. And by the way, this feature is almost this custom launcher is already available in many other custom homes too. Maybe even in Spark OS. Spark OS is actually having more features than this one. Maybe Evolution X OS. And even though in some Pixel based custom homes, they are also including this feature. They are also giving you this feature, this custom launcher by default. This launcher gives you the ability to protect your apps by using App Lock, of course. Cars and you can even hide the apps if you want to. This is the default launcher, what is included with this one. Also, if you move on to the wallpapers and styles option, themed icons option, which means monet theming is supported. But we also have the custom themed icons option. So if you're not satisfied with the default themed icons, you can use custom themed icons, DG icons, theme file icons, lawn icons. You have the option to install any one of that. It's totally up to you. Also, if you move on to the quick settings panel, quick settings panel is light in background. So, if you are using a light mode, you will see light quick settings background. If you are using dark mode, you will see the dark quick settings background. So, it totally depends upon you. And according to you, according to me, if you are watching me from some time, you already know that I always love to use these things. Moving on to some security options here. Face lock is included, so if you are one of the users who want to use face unlock on their devices, or if you always use face unlock on your devices, then it's completely good. Face lock and face unlock is already there. Although app lock is there, it's not included in the security settings. It's already there in the default launcher. It's already there in Octavi settings. And here comes the Octavi settings. Octavi settings gives you a lot of features. Yes, the UI is bit changed because it's Android 13 with Android 12. If you have watched the previous video, which was based on Android 12 of Octavi OS, I made a video that was of course a long time ago. That was a different kind of UI in that case, but right now the UI is bit changed. If you take a look at a brief look at these things which are included, for example, some theming options which includes custom monet theming as expectedly, some fonts which you can customize, icon pack options which were expected, some signal icons customizations, Wi-Fi icon customizations, icon shape, etc. We also have the dark theming options which includes more theming options. I mean custom theme. For example, if you want to use a pure black theme, you can use that. Of course, if you're using an AMOLED device, you would love to use that. And you can even customize the lock screen clock color. It's totally up to you. So in the terms of theming, these are the options which are included. And including the theming options, if you move on to some miscellaneous options, it includes the ignore window secure flag, which was quite expected, and the Android P style animation. I think so. It was available with the Dub Fest OS custom home, if I remember right, and it's available in Octavi OS too. Some device spoofing features like Google Pixel Photos and Netflix, etc. Kind of the features which are available in other custom homes too, kind of available here too. We have App Locker and etc. etc. Other options are just kind of same. Like Like in other custom homes, you are having same features, so these are available. Like status bar icons, which you can hide and unhide. And by the way, Volti and Wo Wi-Fi icons are already present. That is dynamic Volti Wo Wi-Fi icon customizations. You can't customize your Volti or Wo Wi-Fi icon. Only dynamic icons are available. Some quick settings customization include the data usage option, which you need in your quick settings, or maybe the clear all button, which you can enable or disable if you want to, and the squiggle animation, which is a optional thing. If you are not satisfied with the new Android 13 media player, you can simply turn it off. Some notifications related customizations are also there, like retigger notifications. You have the option to replace your heads up notifications and else. And uh, last but not the least, some lock screen customizations are also included, like edge lighting and option to disable the ripple effect on unlocking and else. Things are basically same. So these are the things which are available while making this video. This this update is available for two or three devices as far as I know. And if you're watching this video after some time, maybe this is available for your device too. So link for all the official supported devices is already in the description. This is all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share this video. Goodbye.